Hey guys, today in Art Club with Miss Burford, we'll be making a tissue paper bleed leaf picture. You will need a square sheet of card, a sponge, a container full of water, a pencil, a paintbrush, a permanent marker and either a dark grey or black tissue paper and some scissors. There is a bit of prep for this lesson if you are doing it with younger children. If you're doing it with any children age 7 and above then I would leave this and there is no prep for you. But if you are doing it for younger children layer up some sheets of tissue paper and then you're going to cut them into squares. So you'll want a variety of different colours for the children to choose from. It doesn't matter if the squares aren't perfectly square, just try and get as many as you can. You can have some smaller squares and some larger squares to mix everything up a bit if you like. Older children can do this part themselves at the beginning of the lesson. So for the actual lesson you'll need to fill up the sheet of white card with some shapes. So I've gone for leaves as my theme and I'm just going to choose a selection of different star leaves um, to fill this piece of paper up with, sorry piece of card. And I'm going to draw them in a cartoon kind of style, so not realistic. Um, and I've gone for some varying shapes just to add some interest. So I'm going to draw them at different angles and different sizes so that we can create some good compositions on this piece of paper. But you don't, oh, I keep calling it a piece of paper, I mean card. Um, but you don't need to do leaves, you could do flowers, you could do shapes to keep it simpler for younger children. Um, you could draw insects, it's completely up to you. You can relate it to a lot of different art topics that you're doing. This is just something that I quite like to do near autumn time. Um, with all the leaves falling, you can look at some leaves. You could do a treasure hunt to find some leaves and refer to them. You literally want to fill that piece of card with the objects that you're drawing, so for me it's leaves, and you want them to go right up to the edge of that paper so it doesn't matter if they don't quite fit on, you can have them trailing off the paper um, as you can see on the screen. If you are working with younger children, so under seven, I would skip the next step of using a permanent marker and just stick to the pencil. Join us when it comes to the tissue paper part. For those of you working with older children, this next step will make the object stand out a lot more. So you're going to go over your lines with either a dark grey or a black permanent marker. Just go steady because obviously any mistakes can't be rubbed out now. This next step is for everyone again and this involves dipping a sponge into some water, squeezing the excess water out and then just dabbing it all over your piece of card so you should have the right amount of saturation on your piece of card. Then we can add some colour with the tissue paper squares, just lay them down nice and neat starting at a corner and then using a paintbrush just very lightly push the tissue paper down flat against the card so it picks up all the water. You don't want to add any more water to the paintbrush unless your card is starting to dry out. Repeat this with all of the tissue paper pieces and you can overlap some so that you get a mix of colour and just keep going until you fill the whole page. Just a quick tip for this, try not to put two squares of the same coloured tissue paper next to each other. So to prevent this from happening, try and use at least five different colours of tissue paper. I have done that here, if you've got more colours than that, even better. When you've completely filled this page, leave it to dry, mine only took about 20 minutes. Time for the big reveal! So now we can pull away our tissue paper sheets, it might come off in one go like mine did or in different sections. If you notice I got one dark blue square that stayed there and I didn't notice at the time. But if you look at these areas here you can see where there's some white bits where the tissue paper wasn't fully saturated by the water but that is perfectly fine and I love the effect that it gives to the overall finished image. 
enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more art lessons like this on a Monday and other art related content every now and then. See you next week for more art with Miss Burford.